We've got a few minutes. Aaron is still available for questions. My mother died of breast cancer, so um, learning to eat healthier and to take care of yourself is very important. So I have um, tried to tie the workshops into healthy ways of living, to teach people how to farm, that even if you just can grow it in containers or pots, that that's okay too. This is a good healthy topsoil and it's a silt loam texture. I'm going to be presenting on benefits of a backyard flock today. Um, I'm a conservation agriculture specialist for the West Virginia Conservation Agency and one of the perks, many perks of our job is we can be flexible. So today I am partnering with the Education and Outreach Committee with the Southern Conservation District to be able to talk a little bit outside of my normal box, which is the Ag Enhancement Program, and talk about how having a backyard flock can benefit you. Um, how many of you have some questions about some of your flock? Is it true you have to have a rooster around if you're going to keep them laying? <laughs> no. That is, that is one of the biggest myths, actually. And um, I've always found that funny because a lot of folks really, it's just a common, uh, just a, a misunderstanding. But chickens are, they're going to lay eggs whether there's a man around or not. So. <laughs> yeah, probably. So what we really strive to do with the Women in Agriculture Workshop is allow women to come out, mingle, talk with one another, and gain knowledge from each other. Most of our presenters are women in the community. They are women in agriculture. Um, we only have myself as an agency person, and the rest are all women in our community um, that are coming out and volunteering their time away from the farm to uh, deliver that first-hand experience and share that knowledge, so. I also live into morales. Oh, where do you uh, uh, that's my place. Well, I find about 70 a day. Hi, my name is Chantel, and I came out today to uh, learn about gardening and uh, having a home flock as far as chickens. And I heard this by word of mouth from my mom, Yolanda, and it's just something that we've been uh, trying to get started ourselves as a home garden and to eat healthier and to use less additives and chemicals in our food. And also it's just a great day in the sun out here uh, enjoying ourselves out at Daniel's Vineyard.